My name is Jack Stewart, and I believe in dog. Now, let me explain a little bit. So Trip Hudgens, in his last video, asked uh, uh, for a response to this question about where people see God in their lives. This last year, uh, my wife and I lost uh, both of our dogs that were older, and I'd had Trent, my oldest, for 14 years. And he was a companion. I'm a dog lover, and he... Um, both our, both our dogs both our dogs were members of the family losing them has left a big hole and to a certain extent um you know feeling their loss has been devastating dogs are interesting um dogs are you know evolutionarily um, dogs have been uh, bred with humans in mind as companions for thousands and thousands of years, tens of thousands of years. And so there's a certain relationship to both dogs and humans. Dogs, I think, bring out the best qualities in humans sometimes, and, and vice versa. A friend of mine told me a story this week about her dog going outside and seeing some of the leaves falling for the first time this fall. Um, fall comes late in Texas. And the excitement that the dog felt at seeing the, this just this multicolored leaf coming down. Um, and how much joy that brought her. We're getting a new puppy in a week. And uh, I'm excited. And I'm also... Uh, a little worried, but mainly excited. What I'm really excited about is the relationship that I'm about to form with this new uh, animal, uh, with this new companion, with this new friend. And so at the risk of sounding like a children's sermon or something very trite, that brings me to my point, which is, you can't just go up to a random dog and have it be your best friend. You have to form a relationship with that dog. But when you do, and you do it correctly, there's an intense amount of loyalty and love and a relationship that, that is like none other, except maybe one other place. And I think that's the relationship uh, between humans and God. If... The relationship is formed if there is a relationship there i think it's virtually impossible to just uh, have an instant bond with god you have to develop a relationship it takes time uh, that's why people I, I think a lot of people refer to their spiritual journey it's it's not just an instant destination you don't just uh, fly there on a weekend and i and and so if you'll allow me a little bit i think there's a connection between the way that i relate to the people the creatures the animals i love um, the people i love the ones i love and the god i love it's a very similar relationship in a lot of ways